Welcome to Paradise, otherwise known as the British Virgin Islands. We're at the luxurious Villa Aja Trunk Bay. I'm here with my entire family. Hi. They are so excited because we're going to enjoy everything the British Virgin Islands has to offer. But first... Sharon, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Yes, it is a pleasure to be here. And I'm so thrilled to be here. My family is so excited. When I, when I said BVI, they said, what? Yes, and it's a great place for families. It is. So tell me, Sharon, what is it about the British Virgin Islands that draws thousands of vacationers every single year? Well, I think it's the beauty of the destination as well. And, of course, the friendliness of the, uh, of the people. We, I like to think, have some of the friendliest people in the Caribbean. Um, it's a collection of islands. It's 60 islands. We like to say islands, islets, rocks, and keys. Oh. Some of them are so tiny that it's just the beach that's there. But what's really nice about the BVI is that all of our islands are very, very close, um, close together and the color of the water. That's what fascinates me more than anything else, the different shades of blues and the shades of green. I have never done island hopping, so describe that to me. It must be amazing. Yes, it is. Our islands are so close together that it's actually so much fun. There's always line of sight. You can always see an island, no matter where you are in the BVI. So for example, you can start out in Tortola, and that's our main island. Take the ferry, hop on over to Virgin Gorda, visit the famous bats, um, those are our sea-fed caves, Ooh. have lunch um, you know, on one of the other beaches or one of our island restaurants, pop back on the, um, on the ferry, or maybe do something a little different and charter a powerboat, and the powerboat can take you from Virgin Gorda direct to Yost Van Dyke or Mosquito Island, um, lots of different choices um, in the BVI. That must be a memory of a lifetime. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. And even on one of the islands, if you visit Necker, the kids and the families have an opportunity to take a look at the flamingos. Uh, we even have lemurs um, in the BVI. Uh, so it's quite an adventure and something different that you maybe don't expect to find in the BVI. So tell me more about the Summer Freedom promotion that's launching here in BVI. So we have a very fun promotion that's running uh, where um, kids stay free. Oh. Some hotels include meals. Uh, some include free toys. So it's, um, it starts on June 1 and runs through the end of October. So it's fun not only for the children, but then the adults can also play. Exactly. And the, and the good thing about it is that there are activities for the adults and activities for the kids. Uh, some of the hotels uh, include kids' programs. So the, um, the parents can go off and do their scuba diving, uh, you know, while the kids do storytelling, um, etc. cetera, at, um, at the different properties. Best time to come to the BVI? Well, I'm a little bit um, partial. I would like to say that all, all year, year round. <laughs> all year round is a wonderful time to come to the BVI. Good answer. The weather is great, um, great all year. And there are activities all around. Um, we run the gamut from um, regattas to festival and carnival events, um, music events. Um, we even have fashion shows um, in the summer. So it's a great time all year to come to the BVI. We even have a major food event um, in November, um, BVI Food Fest, where we have a host of our food activities, our Taste of Virgin Gorda. We have a barefoot um, dinner that's held on a beach. It's barefoot oh, and black tie. And of course, we tend to do our bar crawls as well for the adults. And speaking of food, because everybody out there knows that Olga loves to eat. So what are some of the popular dishes here? Popular dishes, um, we like to, there's fish and fungi, um, and that's, um, that's wonderful. There's also a Johnny Cakes, uh, which is, would be similar to Hush Puppies. And of course, um, fishing abounds in the BVI, so there's lots of fresh fish. And we do it up really um, nice and, um, and ethnic and local, where we season the fish, uh, we wrap it in foil, and we roast it over a fire. And um, once you have that, it's, um, you don't want to have fish any other way. And let's not forget the Smiley Lobster. Mm, um, langosta. Langosta. Mm. And um, we're famous in the BVI for our Anagata Lobster, which is quite different from the main lobster. It's sweet, it's succulent. So it's, um, we, we enjoy your lobster. Well, I, I've taught my girls very well, <laughs> and their number one dish is lobster. lobster. So we're going to try that here. Wonderful. Now, we're staying right here. This is the Villa Ajat. 
gorgeous. Tell me about this villa and others that are that you offer as well. Yes, Villa Aja is one of our premier villas in the British Virgin Islands, and this one is on the island of Tortola. Um, we're getting to be very popular as a villa destination, and our villas run the gamut from very simple, laid-back, BVI rustic, as I like to call it, to the very high-end and luxurious villas that come with butlers, yoga pavilions, uh, pizza ovens. Um, so it, there's something in the villa side of a, of a vacation for everyone. And something I want to note too, Sharon, is that it's so spacious. The kitchen is gorgeous. If you love to cook, there it is. It has so many rooms. Uh, an entire family can come. And then you wake up in the morning and you have a cup of Cuban coffee <laughs> staring out to this. Yes, and you have the most gorgeous view. What I really like about the villas in the BVA, it's very open living. So most of the views um, are predicated so that you take advantage of the, of the water take advantage of the views, and be able to sit on the patios and relax, enjoy the sunrises and the sunsets. A lot of our visitors, they come as visitors, but they leave as friends. So that means that you'll be back to BVI. And I did want to note that as well. Everybody here is so nice. So Sharon, for our viewers out there who I know are basically saying, okay, we want more information, where can they go? They go to bvitourism.com. And for our special summer rates, they can go to bvitourism.com slash summer. All right, so I had fun doing this interview, but I think the interview is officially over. Definitely. So now it's time to? Island Hop. Let's go! So you've met my family, you've met my BFF, Sharon Flax Mars, and she has given us a really difficult assignment. We are excited because we are gonna go island hopping with Marine Max Vacations. We got about a 30 minute trip to Peter Island on this beauty, complete with four state rooms and Lux cabin. I might just have to take the wheel when we're on the open water. We'll see. I've got a great team. I've got I'm great sure team. you do. So far, I've, I've been very impressed. Great. Well, we'd like to offer you our ginger lemonade. Oh, wow, this is really good. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's good. We've arrived at Peter Island Resort and Spa, BVI's largest private island. While pirates used to play here, now the world's most elite stay here. Luxury abounds here, but before we explore, we need to taste their world-famous coconut French toast prepared by the one and only Gene Kelly. That French toast is just awesome. Mm. We make the French toast from our own homemade bread right here at Peter Island. I love people, I enjoy them, and uh, I do whatever they ask of me. And, and I do enjoy my job. With our tummies full, we checked out some of the resort's spectacular offerings, including five beautiful beaches, Little Dead Man's Beach, Honeymoon Beach, White Bay, and Dead Man's Beach, which supposedly is named after some pirates who washed up along shore centuries ago. The resort has 55 ocean view rooms and beachfront suites, and three luxury villas, including its crown jewel, Falcon's Nest. Perched high atop one of the island's most picturesque bluffs, this Barcelona-style estate consisting of three separate residences with six spacious suites, seven baths, media room, elegant dining and great room, waterfall, grotto, infinity pool, and so much more. Totaling more than 27,500 square feet with spectacular views, oh, we couldn't feel more pampered or indulged. The next stop on our island hop is Norman Island, due south of Peter Island. And it's where we'll find one of the most breathtaking natural wonders of the world, the caves. Yes, I am steering this catamaran all by myself. It's about 48 feet long, 26 feet wide, 15 feet high, and the captain, nowhere to be found. I'm just kidding, he's right there living. <laughs> But he told me to keep my visual, and I'm keeping my visual, and my kids are freaking out. And my husband, I threw him overboard. <laughs> so here we are at Norman Island. This beautiful location is privately owned and uninhabited, with the exception of two restaurants only accessible by boat. 
We've come to snorkel in the caves, which are at the base of the cliffs. BBI also has excellent diving with over a hundred sites and wrecks. The fun never stops here in the British Virgin Islands. That was awesome! So when we come back, we're gonna shop till we drop, but not before we zip to it island style. Welcome back to the beautiful British Virgin Islands and Villa Aja, located high above Trunk Bay Beach on the north side of Tortola with views of Guana Island. It doesn't get more idyllic than this. What's great is I love the view, mm -hmm. which is yeah. really pretty. So pretty. It's beautiful. What a gorgeous view. This private five bedroom villa offers all the comforts of home with gorgeous vistas, an infinity pool, and luxurious accommodations. Family fun abounds, and the secluded Trunk Bay Beach is only five minutes away. Oh, paradise. Now, full disclosure, I am not an adventurer, believe it or not, but my family is, and they just left with my crew. They're gonna go zip lining, who knows what. Me, I'm gonna go shopping. The family got suited up and learned the ropes at the original Virgin Canopy Tour. Safety first before they took flight. What an amazing adventure for them, flying safely through the lush tropical forest. That was awesome. While they're having fun high above, my feet are firmly planted at the Tortola Pier Park, the gateway to your getaway. This newly built facility offers shopping, dining, and entertainment. There are 54 retail stores to fulfill all your shopping needs from unique BBI stores like Imperial Shell Crafters, which is so much more than a shell store. To Diamonds International, oh my, look at all that bling. I wonder if my husband will buy me this limited edition diamond Ublo watch. Hmm, maybe I should have brought him after all. Oh well. A girl can't have too many clothes, and Cedar White offers an array of Caribbean-made, Caribbean-inspired options. Tijano Boutique features up-and-coming designers and artisans. These things are definitely wearable works of art. And speaking of art, had to check out Alamanda Gallery and the work of photographer Amanda Baker. What a trip. We had an amazing family vacation. Truly something for everyone. No offense to our beautiful studio and our fantastic crew out there, but what a gorgeous destination. I mean, come on. I wonder, am I ever going to see my co-host again, Olga? Well, Julie, I have to admit, I'm not sure I'm ever going to come back. Stay right where you are. I'm getting on a plane right now. For more information, go to bvitourism.com or check out our website, The Balancing Act. Com. Accommodations at Villa Aja Trunk Bay Tortola provided by BVI Villa Rental. Bye bye from Paradise.